Yo, welcome back to Cut Day Sports. Now, I was not planning on doing another video today, but a few things were sent to my inbox, so I got to speak on it. Before I get into all of the extra stuff, I'm going to go ahead and shout out one of my favorite players because he handled his business. We're talking about none other than Alcorn State's Claudine Sherless. At yesterday's Pro Day, he put up a 4.53 40-yard dash, a 10-foot 6-inch broad jump, a 38.5-inch vertical jump, and 18 reps of 225 on the bench press. Now, I don't know why y'all still sleep on him. In the 2022 season, Clauden had 73 tackles, 14 and a half tackles for loss, six sacks, one interception, and two forced fumbles. Baller. And he's not a one-trick pony. In 2021, he had 76 tackles, 11 tackles for loss to go along with two sacks. So shout out to him. Boy, you handle your business today. Yes, sir. But we have to talk about what happened at the Mississippi Pro Day. That's that's what I'm going to call it because based on information I received, yesterday's event that was hosted by Jackson State University wasn't exclusively a Jackson State Pro Day. Hopefully by making this video, more conversation will happen and something can change. Former Alcorn State wide receiver CJ Bolar, who just graduated this year, he wrote, Yesterday was really frustrating and hard on the mental. We always get the short end of everything. Even though we didn't get a chance to show what we can do, I'm proud of y'all boys. Blessed to call y'all my brothers. And he added, Clauden, you really put on for all of us and the whole Alcorn community. Proud of you, my brother. He would continue to say, my advice going forward is to get something of our own. It'll only grow if you promote your players. No one is going to care otherwise. Too much talent in Lorman to get blank on like we did yesterday. When that happened, another former player who is Jawan Taylor, who attended the Jackson State hosted Pro Day last year in 2022, he chimed in. I'm glad somebody finally spoke up. 100. We dealt with the same adversity last year referencing the pro day that was hosted last year by Jackson State University. I was actually under the impression that yesterday's pro day was Jackson State's pro day and that other schools would have the option to attend, but that may not be the case. It appears that maybe Jackson State was just the host. So my question to you guys is, whose pro day was it, number one? Why weren't all the athletes able to show what they can do? That's number two. And how can it be fixed going forward? What are the changes that need to happen? If players are saying they didn't get a chance to showcase their ability, let's get down to the root cause and let's make it better going forward. These guys only get so many opportunities. And with scouts in the building, this is the perfect opportunity for them to show what they can actually do. And if they're not able to do that, then it falls on the adults to fix it. One person that really reps Alcorn State is GSPN. So I'm pretty sure he'll have more on this situation, more in-depth knowledge coming forward. And on the other side, there's She Loves D. And trust me, this is becoming a big topic. So I'm pretty sure she's going to dive into the information and give you more information on that aspect of it. Hopefully by posing the question and bringing it to you guys, people that are closer to the situation can come together and find a resolution. Because at the end of the day, it's all about the players, man. There's no sports without players. Until next time, cut day out.